welcome to this episode where we are going to be talking with the lovely ladies of Lana Al Pascolo. I'm here with Antonio, the other half of Save the Sheep. So welcome everyone. And we are going to get to know a little bit this amazing project in La Lesigna in Italy. So ladies, if you would like to introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about this project. Okay, welcome in uh, Molina, mm -hmm. in, uh, in the senior area. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Antonella, and this is, this is Cristina. Mm -hmm. She's the lady behind uh, the project, uh, Lana Al Pascolo. Um, she started uh, uh, on 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, she, she knew. Um, the the Bronya sheep, mm -hmm. the expanse of the Bronya the Bronya sheep, sheep yeah, and she 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 fell in love because uh, um, she had uh, she had uh, a, a dream, mm -hmm. okay, to, to to live in this area uh, and uh, uh, to uh, grow uh, alpacas and and sheep. Mm -hmm. In 2012, uh, she uh, she came from Bolzano, from uh, Alto Adige, to live here, and she started uh, with uh, uh, three alpacas and and, and three sheep. She, sheep, okay, and yeah. in, in in that period, uh, she uh, knew mm -hmm. that uh, um, there are um, there is an association. Mm -hmm. And uh, promote uh, uh, this uh, uh, rare and local ship, mm -hmm. Associazione per la Promozione e Tutela della Pecora Bronia. Uh, actually, she is the president of uh, this association. Wow, Cristina, very good. Yeah, and uh, because uh, this is a, a very local, uh, local ship. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are uh, 40 um, breeders. And, 40 breeders. Yeah, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, this is an area where you cannot have uh, a lot of sheep, a, 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 a very um, amount of sheep. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are little, little... Um, Blocks. Um, okay, there are Blocks. little, little sheep, okay. Mm -hmm. um, she has actually... She has a uh, uh, thirty-seven sheep mm. and twenty-four alpacas. Wow! And, um, so, uh, in in total, there are uh, two thousand, two thousand, two thousand and three hundred uh, sheep in mm. all of the area. Mm -hmm. okay. And this is a mountain mountain area. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Uh, full of light uh, and colors. Mm -hmm. uh, if you spend time here uh, in, during autumn or during winter or during spring, uh, also mm -hmm. in summer, uh, you can uh, you can look at all all the um, change of the colors. Mm, so, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, very very beautiful. Can you explain the the meaning of Lessinia? I think I kind of understood in Italian. Yeah. Uh, the name Lucinia is from la uh, the Latin word Luxinia. Mm -hmm. It means uh, luce, light, very, mm -hmm. very light. Beautiful. And, uh, yeah. And because uh, uh, um, this is a, 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 a mountain area, mm -hmm. but uh, quite flat. It's mm -hmm. not very uh, high mountains, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's quite flat, full of of um, uh, pasture, pasture, mm -hmm. okay. and so uh, uh, and this area is a uh, uh, look at the south, mm -hmm. so it's very very full of uh, sun. It's very sunny during the, if, of course, the weather permits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But very sunny here and. And we are quite high, so um, 1,000, 1,200 meter high. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's not so high, but 
you can relax uh, during summer, of course, because uh, uh, in the city is very, very hot. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so Lesinia is in the, is very close to the city of Verona. Yeah, yeah? it's behind, it's mm -hmm. behind uh, Verona. In the north mm -hmm. of Italy. In the, mm -hmm. in the northern part of Verona, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite close because uh, uh, from here, it, it takes uh, 20 minutes, uh, a half mm. hour. Perfect. Driving. Yeah. So it's closer and... Uh, you have the best of both worlds. Yeah. You can be in the mountains. And very close to the uh, Alps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, we, we are in the... Uh, we call the Prealpi. The Prealps, yeah. We Pre saw that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very close to Valpolicella, that you know, mm -hmm. uh, the the famous uh, area of Amarone. Mm -hmm. a good, uh, very good and tasteful wine. Mm. Beautiful. So you are there and you have the alpacas and the sheep together. So the Bronia sheep is there living with you and you take care of it. And I thought it would be interesting if you could tell us a little bit about the sheep itself, the Bronia sheep, about the personality, the fiber, just a little bit so that we can get to know. Okay, uh, Bronia sheep is uh, a little bit shy. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, but um, it's, uh, it's very um, useful for... Uh, uh, both for milk for mm -hmm. and of course for for the yarn mm -hmm. and uh, it's it, she she is not too big she is a very mm. it is not small but it's, she is a quite uh, how many kilos okay it's between fifty or fifty five kilos. So she's she is she is not uh, big. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She has a uh, when uh, um, the lamb the lambs uh, have a uh, um, white uh, wool, okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, and some uh, brown uh, spots spots, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's large spots, okay. Mm -hmm. And I I send you some pictures. Oh, thank you. Yes, we will share those. We can put them in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she has a long, long uh, ear. ears. Long ears. Quite long. She's very yeah. beautiful. The like brownie she. Mm -hmm. Straight. They are. They kind of stand out. Yeah, stand out. Mm -hmm. And. Um, uh, she she is quite easy to to grow because uh, uh, she's yeah. happy in that area in that mountain. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a native sheep. They stayed out uh, uh, quite all the day because uh, during the evening uh, um, we have a, a recovery. Um, we have a building. Mm -hmm. where the, the sheep, the sheep and the alpacas too. So they're friends. The sheep and the alpaca, they they get along well. Friends, mm, no, 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 they are separated because okay. uh, they they need they they have a different needs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, the the most important uh, part of the uh, of uh, Christina works worker. Mm -hmm. Job is a, a, a yarn mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, because in our uh, in, in our uh, studio we have a, a, a naturally hand dyed studio yes and uh, this is the most part of, of, of the job mm -hmm. and, but uh, not all because um, through the association and through, through the um, last years Mm -hmm. uh, we discovered that uh, uh, it's important uh, to um, give a chance, a chance, uh, uh, not all, not only through uh, the yarn, but uh, 
to other objects like like uh, um, pillows, uh, like uh, mm. duvets, uh, mm. and uh, yeah, and uh, in, in with the felt mm -hmm. because uh, with the rest of the wood process, uh, we collect the rest uh, and with uh, in with other raw wool, uh, mm -hmm. raw wash wool, we um, produce the felt. Uh, and with the felt, yeah, yeah. So no waste, mm -hmm. at all, of course. Very important. And we produce some objects like uh, um, this one. <gasps> Beautiful. Yeah. We will leave the website down below because there are some amazing products that you have. Very creative, different things that you can do with the wool. Yeah, you can. You, we try to... Uh, to give back a, a, a character, mm -hmm. not only for the wool, but mm -hmm. all, for all the process. Mm -hmm. so, uh, we have also socks, uh, mm -hmm. socks uh, something uh, really pret a -porter, okay, ready to wear, slippers, and so So we, we try to, each year, to introduce something new. In, uh, in our activity exactly and and you bring all of these products you you often travel to different fairs i mean we met you in in italy in the in the alps and now you will be traveling to to madrid to go to the the fair yeah next mm -hmm. week uh, uh we we will uh, be there amazing we are with our yard and mm -hmm. shopping, uh, uh, some gadgets and Exactly. So people can come and see you and see all of the beautiful yarn. And I see behind you all of those colors of the skeins that you have. And all of those are naturally dyed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. gorgeous. And so, some of the plants uh, we have, uh, we uh, grow, grow our little allotment. We mm. have a, and some That's amazing. we grow like a uh, reseda or a uh, um, um, Red rock uh, uh, or uh, indigo. indigo, indigo, indigo. Yeah, we have indigo too. Beautiful. Uh, so what you mean? Cochineal. No, no, no. You okay. don't. You don't have the chumberas there. The the prickly pears. I have. Do you? I have a very pico de India tome, but the the cochineal uh, is a few. Not, not too good for. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but the, that's so beautiful. So people who are bringing home your yarn or your products, not only are they bringing the sheep and the wool from the mountains, but also the colors and the plants and things. Uh, it's it's a it's a a, a very a, a project uh, all around because mm -hmm. uh, uh, we we try to to give a sense. Mm -hmm our activity uh, it's very important for us to to be connected to not right. only not only for for the yarn but for all okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very and it's a very hard work uh, mm -hmm. i know that christina sometimes is very busy because uh, uh, to to manage uh, this kind of project uh, it, mm -hmm. Would be difficult because uh, you know in, in last uh, in, in in the past uh, the wool uh, the real wool um, um, went down. Mm -hmm. we, we lost uh, a lot of uh, a lot of breeders, a lot of uh, uh, our culture, mm -hmm. also our kind of life. Uh, and uh, so it's very important, but it's a very, very helpful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this brings us also to the reason why we are all gathered here today, because Antonio and I have our little project called Save the Sheep. And we have now, this is the fourth edition, and we have decided to use the beautiful wool from the Bronia sheep that Christina has spun together with another fiber. So we have this Mm, this yarn and we have beautiful this is the white the medolan and so it is a fiber that is blended with canyamo with hemp, hemp hemp fiber 
And so for this edition of Save the Sheep, we have dyed all of the yarn already and the, the kits are available down in the website. There might be some left. And if not, you can reach out to Lana Pascono and get some, get two skeins of the same color for our March mystery knit along. Um, so we can show the, the colors that we sure. have. A little bit printed about, okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we have dyed all of the yarn with a blue base of indigo. And then we have used different colors to maybe added some yellow to make the greens, added some cochineal to make the purples. Um, so that is the, the Save the Sheep fourth edition. And we are trying to do our little part and help support amazing people like you guys Thank working you. to to work with these sheep because we want to maintain these traditions and and help that more people can get excited about this type of wool and different breeds and learn about them so it was it was very nice to to share about the bronia sheep right yeah thank you so much for your interest and, and um it's very important and uh, this kind of uh, this kind of yarn uh, uh, we produce because uh, in all of uh, northern Italy, in the past, uh, families used to uh, to uh, go hemp. Mm -hmm. in, in, uh, a lot of, of little mm -hmm. um, field of hemp mm -hmm. uh, uh, with the wool and to produce uh, uh, their own uh, uh, fabrics mm -hmm. or uh, home for uh, uh, garments too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So in, in, in this yarn, <clears throat> we would like to reconnect to the past. Mm. It's so nice. I love it. I'm so excited. The fact that you're saying that it, it weaves together the tradition of the land, but also it's a beautiful fiber, which is fantastic for spring and summer. You know, because it's light, it's soft, it's it's a very fine weight. It's six hundred meters for one hundred grams. Yeah. So it's like between fingering and lace. I, I'm I'm very excited to be offering this yarn and yeah. So it's amazing. I'm, I'm a little bit curious. Uh, yeah. to discover the 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 pattern. The pattern that deal needs. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's going to be gorgeous. So if other people want to participate in the mystery knit along, you can get one of our kits, which come with the yarn and other special surprises and all of the community aspects of that. Or you could reach out to Lana Salpascolo. You could pick two colors from their shop. You can see them in Madrid. Get two, two colors. Two skeins. Two skeins. Not two colors. Sorry. Two skeins of one color. And, um, and, and, and the, if the need does come, uh, next week uh, to Love Yarn Madrid, uh, mm -hmm. they can find. Uh, they can find the yarn. Yeah, mm -hmm. both in in the natural uh, natural yarn or dyed the, uh, dyed the natural colors. Exactly. So we're so excited, and yeah, thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you in other events and working with you in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, both uh, Nicole and Antonio mm. for inviting us uh, for this uh, um, this meeting. Mm -hmm. and see you next week. See you next uh, week. And bye. So, bye. Ciao. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.